Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and it's time for me to treat these Justins again. But while I do that, I wanted to react to some tweets about cowboy boots. Let's have some fun with this. All right, so these are my Justin AC 1003 model boots with a safety toe. I got these at a thrift store for about $20 and it is probably the best $20 that I've ever spent. This is a great boot for the winter. They are waterproof and I've been using them for the past two weeks just because it's been so snowy and slushy here in Seattle. And to make sure that they stay as good as they are, I figured I would treat them with a leather conditioner and another treatment of the snow proof that I use. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to react to some tweets that I found about cowboy boots. I'm on Twitter frequently trying to find ideas for videos and every so often I'll save a tweet or two. And over the past couple months, I've sort of built up a folder and I thought it'd be a fun thing just to go through some of the things that give me ideas for videos and just are sort of fun to read and look at. So I'm gonna start off by brushing the boot to make sure there's no dust or anything on here. And then we will move from there. I just have a little brush here. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's meant for nails, um, but I'm just gonna do this. And the first tweet is, she wears the same cowboy boots every time she goes out, so I'm not worried about her. <laughs> Nor should you be. If you're wearing cowboy boots, I got a feeling you're gonna be just fine on a night on the town. Cowboy boots are heels for guys. I went from 5'10 to 6 foot and my girlfriend is looking at me differently. This is a completely true aspect. You put on a pair of boots and you get an extra inch or two on your height and man, people just look at you differently. They also make you stand differently too. It's completely unreal about what cowboy boots can do for your confidence. And when your confidence is higher, then the person that you're trying to attract is just gonna be even more attracted to you because you have that confidence. Cowboy boots are just magical. And the next tweet is, you're not strong, you don't even own cowboy boots. This is the same topic, you know? If you don't have cowboy boots, then maybe you don't have the confidence to deal with things that just come up throughout the day. If you're wearing cowboy boots, you can take on pretty much anything. You are strong in cowboy boots. All right, so we have these things brushed off pretty well, and now I am going to be using my Bic 4 leather conditioner to bring some life back into these boots. Why was wearing cowboy boots ever a trend? Every time Facebook hits me with an old pic, I get disgusted with myself. If you are wearing cowboy boots just because they're a trend, you got some insecurity problems. I'm just saying it right now. I think that trends are a great way to find new aspects to add to your style personally. But if you are changing your style based off of the trend at that particular moment, then you're probably pretty insecure with yourself. And you should probably think about just rocking what makes you comfortable all the time. And if you like cowboy boots and you were introduced to cowboy boots because they are a trend, then continue rocking them. But don't feel ashamed about it when they're not a trend anymore. That's just the media wanting you to buy what is new and shiny. Rock the cowboy boots if you like them. If you don't, then don't, it's cool. Cowboy boots will never be trendy over my dead body. Well, they have been trendy and they're kind of moving that way again here in 2019, as I've noticed. So it looks like plenty of people are gonna be stepping over your dead body in their cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Church is singing these boots and people in the crowd have taken off their cowboy boots and are thrusting them in the air toward the stage. Woo! -hoo -hoo. This tweet gives me goosebumps. <laughs> that sounds epic. 
<laughs> Next tweet. Hey mom, can you come pick me up? There are people wearing cowboy boots here. Again, there is nothing wrong with people wearing cowboy boots. Maybe you're just insecure with yourself because people in cowboy boots are so secure with themselves and what they are wearing. Maybe you should call your mom and say, hey mom, can you come bring me some cowboy boots? There are people wearing cowboy boots here and I think that I finally fit in someplace. All right, so we have these conditioned and next up will be the snowproofing. This is moving along really, really fast. The next tweet is, what if a centipede was also a cowboy and had 100 cowboy boots on and you just heard 100 tiny spurs in your wall at night? <laughs> I love it. This is hilarious. It would be annoying to be kept up by a cowboy centipede. Thankfully though, there are no centipedes who wear cowboy boots. And if they there were, would they make them out of ant skins? What would you make a centipede cowboy boot out of? Ant skins, uh, what else? Beetle skins, ooh, those are quality. Those beetle skin centipede cowboy boots, woo, love them. They shine up like crazy. If you are wearing cowboy boots, we automatically become friends. This is something unspoken in the cowboy boot community. Just because there is so much, I mean, you saw those other tweets. There is so much hate and negativity towards people wearing cowboy boots. When you see somebody else wearing cowboy boots, you're like, hey man, how's it going? Let's talk, you know, let's talk about our boots together. Let's go get a cup of coffee. Let's go get a beer and let's just talk about boots because we never get that opportunity, especially up here in the Northern States. People just don't wear cowboy boots and they look at them so negatively. So this is, this is an understandable tweet. This is an unspoken rule among us cowboy boot wearers. Walking through the snow in cowboy boots is a real stylish way to kill yourself. That's true, unless you have rubber soles. <laughs> if you're wearing those leather soles, yeah, you're kind of asking to slip and fall and break your ass and break your neck and kill yourself. But damn, you will look good. You got that right. It's funny when you hear really loud heels in the hallway and you expect to see some lady wearing high heels and then it turns out to be a guy with cowboy boots. <laughs> I've faced this many times. Every time I'm walking down the street in the city or in an area where cowboy boots are not readily recognized as being normal, you always get people turning their heads to see if there's some really shapely lady in a red dress. Sorry, it's just me. Uggs are boneless cowboy boots. This is completely true both literally and metaphorically. <laughs> they are spineless. If you wear cowboy boots in public, please don't speak to me. I promise we have nothing in common. Wow, that is harsh. Generalizers are not good. Nobody in cowboy boots wants to talk with a generalizer anyways, so go f yourself. I just asked me mom what she wants for her 50th and her only wish is some white cowboy boots. Midlife crisis pending. Seems like she's getting her life together, actually. Guys look so good in cowboy boots. You know it. All right, I finished up both these boots already and I haven't even gone through all these tweets, but they are looking good. They are ready for the rest of the winter, probably for Seattle terms, but if it ends up getting really rainy and snowy within the next couple of weeks and I have to continue wearing these, then I probably will treat them again in two weeks or so, but they are good to go. Let's just finish up these tweets just for shits and giggles. Gays are the only people allowed to wear cowboy boots. This is just plain untrue. Gays, straights, people of different nationalities, people of different races, aliens from Mars, centipedes in your walls at night. Everybody can wear cowboy boots. Oh, fuck. my cousins just took me to this yeehaw bar and I forgot my cowboy boots. Easy fix to this. Always wear your cowboy boots and you'll always be ready for anything. 
still in awe that people from the South really wear cowboy boots and hats and take themselves seriously. And if you are taking yourself seriously, then maybe you should rethink a lot of things in your life. I cannot take a man in cowboy boots seriously. Again, here. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can take us seriously. Nobody wants to be taken seriously because when you are being taken seriously, you're no f***ing fun. Kid Rock looks as if a pair of cowboy boots had sex with Flavor Flav's clock necklace. <laughs> it's so true. He's so ugly. I wore cowboy boots all through college and I really want to wear cowboy boots again. But there's really no way to do that without everyone saying, hey, why are you wearing cowboy boots? Welp, anyways, thanks for hearing me out. Have a great Sunday night, everyone. Listen, if you're around people who ask you why you're wearing what you're wearing, they probably don't support you and you should find new friends because I wear cowboy boots all the time and nobody asks me why I'm wearing cowboy boots. They just give me high fives because I am. If you wear cowboy boots or pointy shoes, you need jail time. It's ugly. Point blank, period, no tampon. Wow, that's graphic. And also very fascist. Bought cowboy boots and the loveliest leather jacket. Can I get a yeehaw? Yeehaw! <laughs> All right, everybody, I guess that's the end of the tweets. Thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, if you tweet about cowboy boots, I'm watching. <laughs> That's so creepy. Peace, everybody. When you have a cowboy boot opinion, there's only one place to go. Head on over to Twitter and make sure everybody knows. And if you decide to give cowboy boots a good roast, just know that they were made for shit much worse than what you post.